Hello all my art loving friends out there. Today's a very exciting video because we have two things in this video. We have Happy Mail. I'm so excited for this one. We're gonna play with what's inside. Plus our usual advent calendar opening day. This will be so much fun. Let's start with the Happy Mail. You can see I have my sketchbook here ready to play with. This is that Paul Rubens oil pastel piece. I need to spray that before I shut this sketchbook after today. But what we have in here, look at that. So my friend and I were talking about her upcoming trip and she was saying how she was taking her woodies with her. And I didn't know what woodies were so I looked it up on Google real quick in between our conversation and I saw that Stabilo popped up. And sure enough, that's what she was talking about. And then she sent me this set. That was so generous. So it looks like it comes with a sharpener and a paintbrush. So let's crack open the seal here with some scissors and see what they look like. I'm, I'm excited because I love the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s and other similar products to this. So I think it should be really fun. Uh, in we go. All right, okay, so it looks like it pulls out like this. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, these are about three times the size I thought they were going to be. I literally thought they would be like the Neo Color size, but in a wood form. This is fascinating. These are huge. <laughs> Look how chunky. Oh, how fun. Here's a regular pencil in comparison. <laughs> oh my goodness. No wonder she loves these. These are awesome. Wow. So it says these are multi-talented pencils. They can be used on glass and easy to wipe off. Coloring pencil, wax, crayon, and watercolor all in one. Water soluble, which is what I thought because why would it come with a brush otherwise? <laughs> Strong covering power and intense color even on the darkest papers and glass. Unbreakable thick wooden pencil with XXL lead, ideal for little children's hands. Well, that's fun. It says for little artists who love using lots of color in creative ways. Am I little? I'm little. I'm gonna call myself little because I wanna play with these. <laughs> Let's check out this brush. This seems, I was gonna say, this seems quite nice and then the ferrule pops off. We're gonna have to glue that. <laughs> because it does seem quite nice. I have some water here that I don't mind getting a little sizing in it. Better than leaving the room and going somewhere else. Look at this pencil sharpener, it's so big. Look at the difference. <laughs> How fun. All right, let's see what these colors look like on the sketchbook here. Looks like we have a silver. I don't think I'll keep them in this case. I don't know, it's kind of big and this is plasticky, but at the same time, it's nice to have them laid out like this. I'm gonna have to think about that. This says 800 or 880 slash 805, four stars. So I wonder if these are considered light fast. I guess we'll have to get some swatches going in the window. How many do we have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So we can do six per row. So I'll speed you past this part because I don't know, it's probably not that interesting. And then I can bring you back for when I add the water. So actually I'll just turn the camera off, but if something cool happens, I'll turn it back on and let you know. Well, here are all the colors. So let's add some water. Let's start with the one on the, I just put the paintbrush in the water jar handle side down. Doing good today. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let's start with the black. Oh shoot, I'm not gonna be able to use the brush till I glue it, it just keeps falling off. But I have this one. It's the one I accidentally dipped into the water the wrong way anyway. Oh my gosh. I did not expect that. I thought that we would have to be working hard to get that to dissolve. Holy moly, did you guys see that? That's really, really cool. How have I not known about these before? <laughs> I know that she's mentioned them to me a time or two before, but I just never, I just like never looked into it, I guess. Hi, Chica. Chica just jumped up here to say hi. Hi, Bubby. It's like, don't touch me. But she usually loves to be pet. So this one took a little bit of work to get the crayon lines activated. If that's what you want to call it. 
So these don't have color names on them, just numbers as far as I can tell. And it looks like the highest amount of stars I'm seeing here is five. So some it looks like are a three star, five star. This one is a two star. So yeah, it would be fun to get these in the window and see what we come up with. If you heard clonking, clomping in the background, that was Blanca coming down the stairs, my big old golden retriever. Even when Duffy, my little Aussie, comes down the stairs, he's loud. They're loud. <laughs> so here's a dark blue. Wow. These are fun. Like when you activate it, it feels kind of creamy. And look at how the color pulls down. That's really neat. That black is looking quite nice as it dries. Okay, a medium blue. Ooh, super bright like that. Wow, these are so fun. Light blue. Eighteen colors is a great selection too. Alright, like a viridian or teal or turquoise or some color. What would you guys call that color? And a green green. Like a lime green, that's pretty. I like that one. Yellow, I don't know that I got enough pigment on that yellow. Kinda got, it's a little slim with a few of these. No, I don't have enough water on my brush. <laughs> Although that dissolved beautifully, so no problems there. Orange, ooh, yeah, I like that. Red, a red, red, I love red reds. Didn't quite have enough water on my brush, but still worked. And the cats knocked the door open, so that fan noise is gonna, oh no, I think that was Blanca that knocked the door open, duh. Fan noise is gonna be loud when I don't talk. I do hit the denoise thing on Premiere Pro when I'm editing the videos, but it still kind of has a background hum to it. I noticed pink. That was nice, by the way. Just a pink pink. I like it. Ooh, that almost dissolved completely back to the paper. Interesting. Look at this lovely peach color. Dang it, I didn't have enough water on my brush. Yeah, that's very subtle. Make a great light color skin tone. White, I think, may have pulled up the black of the Sharpie line, even though I've never really had Sharpie do that before. So that one probably is not a good indication of what white looks like. We'll have to try it over some of these other colors, maybe. And the gold, that one was a little bit different feel to it when I activated it. Silver. A few really impressive ones for sure. Like that black was very impressive and it'll be fun to see what we can do. Let's try this white over the black, although it's not quite dry, but I still want to see. Okay. So except for where it's still wet, it looks like it's marking over it pretty well. Little X guy. Let's try the gold. Ooh, nice. And the silver. Actually kind of looks similar to the white. Interesting. So today's prompt for World Watercolor Month is startle, and I have no clue what to do for that. I did find a really cute picture that was uh, artificially intelligently created. There's gotta be a term for that. <laughs> I keep making up words, but it's fun. Anyway, I did find an artificial intelligence cat picture that is adorable and actually would probably work really well with these Stabilo crayons. And since they're water activated, I think it counts as watercolor, right? But let's go ahead and open the advent calendar first and see if maybe that gives us some ideas or inspiration. 
All right, here is day five. Let's just go ahead and go to the desk. I think it's easier for you guys to see and open this up. It feels like there's another dot card in there. All right, in we go. Ooh, I did better with the tape today. Rip the envelope though. Are you ready for this? This is so darn fun. Boom, boom. Ooh, another red. Ah, oh, Windsor and Newton. Windsor and Newton, transparent orange. Vibrant oranges can be overwhelming. She herself has a hard time using them. When she does reach for one, transparent orange is at the top of her list. Some subjects that come to mind to celebrate this color include goldfish, tigers, monarch, butterflies, poppies, and persimmons. But this can color... But this color can also be used, I just read what it said, but it was a little typo. But this color can also be used as a complement to deep blues and indigos. What does it inspire you to paint? So one of my favorite colors is Transparent Pyrrol Orange by Core. So it'll be fun to see what this looks like. Are you ready? Oh, that's, that's gorgeous. <laughs> that's amazingly beautiful. Yeah, wow. Okay, I am in love with that color. This color is not on the cat picture that I pulled up on Pixabay. <laughs> uh, let me pull out my Windsor & Newton palette and see if I even have an orange in there. I can't remember. Okay, here's my palette. And there are some new colors in here that we still need to try. These three that were so graciously sent to me and I am definitely wanting to show them to you very soon here. Maybe not in July. <laughs> so this is the orange I have, but I think it's a vermilion. Scarlet Lake. Okay, so this is a beautiful addition. Well, dang it, Denise Soden, you've put another color on my wish list. I do love the vibrancy, I guess, if you want to say it. I don't know. There's something about Windsor & Newton colors, even though because I put these in from the tube, they're hard for me to re-wet unless I spray them ahead of time. They just have a pureness to them that I really enjoy. And this one is beautiful. So yeah, I have a small wish list going. Right now I have Roman Schmall Payne's Gray on it. And I think I'm going to add the Windsor & Newton Transparent Orange. I mean, how can you not love that color? Well, maybe we should use this Windsor & Newton palette to paint that cat that is startled that might be scary to paint, but oh well, we're gonna do it anyway. I'm thinking we can also use those Stabilo Woodies to paint part of the cat too. So maybe we'll do the Windsor & Newton kind of as a background. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll use the woodies. And I'm terrified, but let's just get to it. Here's the artificial intelligence cat that is startled. <laughs> so I think I may try and just, mm, like I, I wasn't going to sketch with a pencil. I was just gonna go for it. So let's just go for it, I guess. <laughs> I have my doubts. I'm actually kind of dying to try this pencil sharpener, so I think I'm gonna try it with the silver. Just so curious about it. Okay, so it sticks through there. And let's see. So it will only get blunt because it will run into that down there, right? Right? If I do this more, yeah. Okay, it just stopped sharpening, interesting. So it can only go blunt. It's not going to go sharp, which is probably good because it's meant to be chunky. So that answers that question. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor. Missed. <laughs> and tried to keep it all on that tissue, but I was unsuccessful. Okay, so how are we going to sketch this? I don't know, but it's just a startled cat. This should be fine. It should be fine. This should, this should be fine. Big eyes. Two big eyes. About an eye and a half apart. Or an eye and a third apart. Got it. Let's make those thicker. We've got thick boy woodies, so we are gonna make them thick. Then we have, we have the iris in the middle which has to be big. Is that the right word, I think? Oh, I should have left a glare. I was gonna not leave a glare because of trying the white over it, but then I thought, oh, I should probably leave a glare, and then I forgot. Wow, that did not work very well. I, I didn't do that well. That's okay. Then the nose is kind of blue, actually. There's a lot of blue in this, or like a Payne's Gray. We don't have a Payne's Gray, obviously, with this, but what I could do is do the black and put a little blue over it. Anyway, the top of the nose hits about the bottom of the eye, so like that. And then we have some little nostrils. 
This one's in shadow, so it's harder to see, but I'm sure it's fine. There, and it goes into big open mouth. <laughs> oh, so cute. Should have made this one a little curved. Too late now. And then we do have some like teeth and a little bit of tongue shows, but I don't know how serious to get with that. Let's get some blue on the subject here. Ooh, that layers very nicely, so we can put some blue over that little nose as well. Then that tongue is super light, pinky peach thing, but ooh, that this goes on so much thicker than, than I realize. I'm freaking myself out here. Not really, I'm having fun. Which was the whole idea of these was to have fun. A bit of blue there. And then, what color did I just think I saw? I don't know. Ah, I just threw it across the room. And it fell on the floor again. Doing good here. Cause I'm not looking at this tray when I put them down. And so I just like toss it over there and it ends up on the floor. Oh, and then my reference photo went away. All right, so we need a lot more black going on in the mouth. And then we got this cute little fuzzball whatever there. Okay, that's the basic shape. Wonder how to use the watercolors. First, let's kind of activate the color we have on it already just for fun. Oh gosh, that's really neat. I'm gonna pull some strands over into there. Yeah, that black dissolves so beautifully. That's really cool. And then we got some chin whiskers going on. I, think I have enough water in my brush to do that and this. They don't exactly match, but we can make them match, kind of. And the outside. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my circle went wonky. Darn it. Ah, again. Why? <laughs> I don't like wonky circles. Oh, well. And that one just went wonky. What do we got here? A little nostril action. Okay, so far we haven't used the Windsor Newton watercolors at all because this is just too fun on its own. Which is fine. We don't have to use. I just, <laughs> you saw that, right? <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, emergency. Don't touch the other colors. Dang it, my tissue had cat hair on it. I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah, we don't have to use other colors, so that's fine. Get a little bit of that color there and a little bit more over here. This whole side is darker, but we don't have to put the guy in shadow like the reference photo was. We can have the light be in the front or wherever we want it to be. That's really pretty. We are gonna have to get a glare on the eyes after the fact. Don't oh, touch the black, but I actually like it in the eye. Well, I may not like it that much in the eye. <laughs> That's cool, very cool. Do we have a brown? Yes, we do. Singing some of these brown whisker dots. Let's see, where do they start? Kind of here. We got a big one here and two there. Kind of like that. So there's like a really light blue coating on the fur of this cat and I wanna see if we can kind of copy. Oh, that's not light blue. That got a lot of pigment off of the crayon, which is good to know. And of course I reactivated my black again. I didn't mean to, didn't need to. Did not mean to talk through this whole video cause that makes it very hard to edit, but I just can't help myself. Let's see, there's kind of a gold rim around the eye. I wonder if that would even show up if we did that with this. Ooh, it does. Oh, do you see it? That is so cool. Oh, I got a little off on that one. And then they, there's like a little bit of gold like in the eye. That's awesome. Let's put gold in the nose. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, gold in the mouth. Sweet. Oh no, I had it on my finger. Now it's on the paper. Okay, so I do want to kind of use the watercolors because they're irresistible. Where'd my swap sheet go? I don't even know what my colors are without it. Oh, here it is. Why is it over there? So, hmm, I want to. Mix the Payne's Gray with a blue. This blue, what is this blue? Windsor blue. Ooh, yep, pretty. So how far above the eyes is the top of the head? Well, now it's that high. Oh, that's that's pretty. And when is it not fun to use watercolors? It's always fun to use watercolors. So the ear starts about there. And I'm gonna bring this color down in front of the ear a little bit. And let's go ahead and pull that down. I think I forgot to mention I'm using the Hanamuli 100% Cotton Sketchbook here. I thought it would be good to pull that out again. 
That's a pretty combination. So I do have indigo now, except it's not on my swatch sheet, but that's kind of like a indendrine that I just mix more than an indigo, but it's still beautiful. Okay, this side of the cat has more blue than this side, but that's okay. Let's give this guy a stripe over here. And let's use burnt sienna in a light form, yeah, to kind of just give this kitty some shape. His little face comes out like so. It's kind of dark by the nose. It's so cute. And let's just use some regular Payne's Gray for this part. Ooh, pretty. I accidentally forget at the end to put the highlights in the eye, but I did it after the video was over, and I actually think I like it better without the highlights, but I don't know. It's still an adorable picture at the end, and it's cute with them, it's cute without them, so I don't know. doesn't need them necessarily. Now we're going to use a little yellow ochre on the top of the nose, except I got into the black again. That's all right. That stuff is awesome. <laughs> you just gotta be careful if you don't want that color there. Let's put a little of the light blue over here. Oh, I touched the black again. Now we need ears. Ears, ears, ears. Hmm, I think we'll use the yellow ochre again. Maybe mix it with some burnt sienna. My ears kind of are over here by the eye. Pretty much go from here to here. And let's put some of this blue in the ears. Uh, let's not actually. Let's put the blue we made before with the Payne's Gray and the Windsor Blue. Mm hmm, that's so pretty. Now I'm thinking to take some of this gold. The problem is, yeah, that, that works. That's kind of cute, actually. The whiskers aren't really gold down here. They're mostly white. They show up a little bit of gold over here, but I'm going to make them gold, I guess. Some of them. But then, I guess we should try the white. I'm on white paper, so I don't really know if that will show up very much, but I don't care. I'm going to try it anyway. No, that doesn't show up at all, but that's wet, and it's kind of just absorbing in. Okay, good to know. No, it's not showing up at all. So not today, but uh, we are going to play with these woodies again in the future. And I want to use black paper because it said that they'll show up on black. Oh, we should also try it on the glass here. Let's try this. This is my water glass. Okay, yeah, so it just acts like a wax crayon, but that's kind of neat. I mean, I could have left that on there. It just said that it would wipe off on the box, so I wanted to try that. Well, that's cute. That's way cuter than I expected, and he definitely looks startled. So I think we succeeded there, and it was fun to use my Windsor & Newton watercolors. I do, I do want to play with these some more. I'm going to keep this dot card in here with these for now, and we'll have to get this palette out again very soon in the future. And what I have decided is this was sent to me in that last Happy Mail video I did before this one, I think. And I thought this would be perfect for the, the Woodies because my box came pretty damaged and the plastic these are in is pretty damaged as well. And there they go, rolling away again. So I have a great idea. It's a brilliant idea. Hang on. I am actually going to keep the plastic this came with and leave it on there so this brush can go in there. I just need to... Oh, this is not her... My brush. This is her brush. Did this come with plastic? I think this was plastic it came on. Yeah. So I just have to glue that real quick before I put that in there. And I'm going to put the pencil sharpener for these woodies in a plastic bag so that when I want to sharpen them, I'll have the plastic bag with me because... My friend who sent these to me, she takes them on her travels, and I think that's such a good idea because look at that. I mean, look at the fun we just had in this sketchbook, and that was fast and easy, and I think it's adorable. So I'm going to put all of these woodies in this bag, and that'll be my Stabilo woodies bag. And then I may chop out part of the box to tape on the bag to know what they are, except I'll know what they are because I'm pretty good at remembering what I put in my to go bags. I think I'm pretty good at remembering that anyway. So I am excited to try these on black paper. So this for now, unless I go on a trip here, 
and I want to take them. For now, they're going to be in my drawer of... Oh, yeah, I forgot I have to, to glue that already. <laughs> they're going to be in my drawer of things I need to get back to as soon as possible. And that way, I won't forget that we're going to use these on black paper. But, but I doubt I'll forget because these were so fun. They're going to be on my mind a lot. Well, that concludes World Watercolor Month Day 5. Startle! And it's so cute. This makes me happy. Well, that was a fun play session, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.